G'day folks, it's pre-sunrise at Lake Hume and I've come up here to do a bit of redfin fishing. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. to this spot only two or three weeks ago and I caught five redfin I think it was including two that I was able to keep for a feed since then I've had quite a few fishless trips so today I've returned to the spot that I had a bit of luck last time to see if I can catch some fish again I'm a little bit early so I'm going to go and rig up and get ready while I wait for the, the, the light to improve and then I can start fishing now what I'm going to do I've just rigged up I've just baited up my lines I've got a Pat Noster rig on this rod that I'm throwing in now and a running sinker rig on the other line that I'm about to throw in it's too dark to see what I'm doing so I'm just going to cast them out put them in and then I'll uh, just keep my eye on them and make sure they don't get pulled in the lake until I've got enough light to sort of see what I'm doing properly I figure I can't really see so I might as well at least put them in while I set my chair and everything up I didn't bring any corn today, I was going to bring some corn to try and catch a carp and I forgot so I've got janjuck worms on each rod and that's the way it'll be for the entire time that I'm here Right, both lines are in, my chair's set up, I'm set up It's all systems go as I sit here now and just watch the end of my rod tips and wait for a nibble Actually I might put some gloves on because it is very very cold but it's not as cold as it was in Wangaratta, it was minus 3 when I left Wangaratta and up here I think it's about plus 3 or 4 and it's quite windy I just had a nice bite on the rod on the left, you wouldn't read about it, it's, something's playing with it there now I was actually looking at it through my camera or through my phone I was taking a photo of it and I was just about to hit the button and I saw the rod go boing 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 <laughs> and, it's a bright, and a bite on the right, got this one well, how's that, I was looking at the rod on the left because I was getting a bite on the rod on the left and at the same time I had a bite on the rod on the right I was focused on the other rod and I hooked a fish on this rod, it's a little red fin by the feel of it now, How's that for a start? Getting bites on both rods at the same time and it is a small red fin I could probably fill it if I wanted to but I won't it's a little bit on the small side, I'll see if I can do a bit better but I will get a quick photo because it's the first fish of the day Way too dark for any kind of release footage Little redfin, see you later mate Sun's not even up and I'm on the board after being here for about 5 minutes Well I can't ask for a much better start than that can I as I put my running sinker rod back in I might just check this other rod while I'm doing this too because I uh, I had a nice bite on that before I had the bite on this rod and it scunned me, it's taken all my worms I have a couple of fresh worms on me Pat Nostri, gonna put that back out wow over the last week or so I've been three fishless fishing trips in a row my favourite carp spot close to home didn't produce Lake Nilakuti didn't produce, it's just been uh, it's been horrible it's been winter, I suppose is probably the way to do it that's the nature of winter fishing I've come up here to good old faithful Lake Hume and I've caught one and had another nice bite before the sun even comes up just had a nice bite on the running, oh, shoot, nearly fell over I just had a nice bite on the running sinkery I still there, just bit again and again 
I might open the bale and let it swim with it. Had a real nice bite and I come down to try and set the hook and I tripped over this bit of a lip in the in the clay here. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, now getting a nice bite on this other rod. It's all happening. The pre-dawn bite window at Lake Hume. Here we go, something's got this running sinker rig again. And now, now the pet noster. And got it. I've hooked up on the pet noster. I'm just keeping my eye on my running sinker rig here because it was getting a bite a moment ago as well. This might be a little bit bigger, this one. It's hard to say. It's got a reasonable sinker on it too. No, I don't think so. I think it's a similar one to the last one. Actually, it might even be a bit smaller than the last one. Oh, no, no, he's about, actually, he swallowed the hook. I've been reading a lot online lately about the redfin up here at Lake Hume not looking very good, and this one looks absolutely terrible. It's got, they've got like a red rash on them. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but that fish looks absolutely terrible. You can see he's got a red rash on it there, and it's, this happens up here from time to time. I've got no idea why. The fish is quite lean and underweight. Well, uh, I think it's going to die anyway because I pulled half its gills out when I was getting the hook out because it was hooked too deep. I probably should have just killed it in case it's uh, contagious. Yeah, yuck. Anyway, it's back. I'll put my line back in as quick as I can. Right, now I'm just going to leave that same worm on. Because I want to check the worm on this other rod because it was getting a nice bite at the same time. Now with regards to that rash on that fish, I don't know much about it, so there's no point sort of asking me too much about it because I don't know. All I do know is that every couple of years it turns up up here at Lake Hume and I thought I had a fish on here then, but I think it's a bit of weed. Every couple of years it turns up up here, these fish get this horrible rash. This has got a fish on it, I think, hasn't it? <laughs> it has too. <laughs> it's got a tiny, weeny redfin on it. That's a much cleaner, healthier looking redfin than that last one. But he's also hooked quite deep. See you later, mate. Yeah, that rash, every couple of years up here at Lake Hume, this red rash sort of shows up on the side of fish. I don't know much about it. I don't know what it is. All I know is that if I catch a fish that looks sick, I'm not gonna eat it. Right now, I launched the Pat Noster rig back out. I had to actually re-rig it. I had a, a rigging issue. When I was unhooking that last redfin, that really small one, I actually broke the line. Didn't even mean to do it. But I'd noticed a little stopper on my line had come off, so I suspect that there may have been a weak spot in the line. I put my gloves back on because my fingers are frozen. There's a great Facebook page and it's called Fishing on the Border, Albury Wodonga Region. I think it's ran by my friend Cliff Carnitz. But if you follow that page on Facebook, every now and again you'll see photos of redfin with those saws, like the one that I just caught. And you might be able to do some further reading and find out more about them on there. I've never actually caught a fish with those red marks. So I'm not, I have with redfin in the past, but not here at Lake Hume. But I have seen quite a lot of photos on that uh, on that page over the years of fish with those saws. I don't know whether it's some kind of fish dermatitis or fish herpes virus or what. I've got no idea. All I know is I've only ever seen photos of it on redfin. I don't know whether it's ever been detected on other fish in the lake. I've never seen photos of it if it has. But it's a, yeah, it's quite a, a horrible looking thing. And if I catch a, a, even a really big fat redfin with that rash on the side of it, I won't be keeping it. I'll probably euthanize it. And I should have done the same to that one. I should have just broken its neck. Although I suspect it might not survive anyway because it wasn't, uh, it was hooked quite deep. Anyway, three on the board before sunrise. Can't complain about that. Whistling kite. He's got it. That red fin with the scars on it that I threw back. That whistling kite's just flown off with it. Well, it's such a safe didn't survive. Oh, getting a big bite on me running sinker rig. Put the camera back on me head. <laughs> my line's pulled really tight and it's stayed tight. Is the fish still on it? I believe it is. Look at that, I was uh, filming that, that whistling kite flying off at that red fin. What, is this a sick looking red fin or a healthier one? Red fin number four and it's a much healthier looking fish. Very skinny though. 
very lean. Look at a quick photo of this really skinny lean redfin. This is a much cleaner looking fish, but it is very skinny. See you later, mate. Last time I was here, I caught four for the morning. Uh, five for the morning, sorry. And so far today, I've caught four before the sun even comes up. The sun didn't come up last time because it was cloudy and overcast. It's 7.22 a.m. and the sun hasn't even come up yet. It can't be too far away. But I have not seen a single jogger. There's no one else on the other boat ramp. There's no one else fishing up there. I've got the whole spot to myself. This is Kookaburra Point at Lake Hume. And when I was here last time, there was cars going past and joggers and everything early in the morning. I heard the bugle over there at the army barracks. This morning, nothing. It's a Tuesday morning and it's school holidays. And it's, uh, it's just very, very quiet. Got a big bite on the Pat Noster rig. Just had a nibble on the running sinker rig. There it goes again. Something's going to take that and pull it. And nibble on the other rod now, too. Oh, it's, it's, it's the third time this morning that's happened. Sit here for 10 or 15 minutes without a bite and then suddenly get bites on both rods. Then get off the chair and move down to the rods and then get bites on neither rod. <laughs> Big bite on the running sinker rig here. Got him. I was just checking the worms on me Pat Noster rig when this fish came along. <laughs> Another little red fin by the looks of it. Right, he's not sure whether he took a bit deep or not, but I fished. I finished what I started with this rod. I'll, uh, I was just checking the bait after a bite that I had earlier. I'll just thread me worm on a bit better. And I'll put that back out. It's 7.38. The sun still hasn't come up. It's like a never-ending twilight period here at Lake Amp. Where I come from at Wangaratta, we don't have hills. Not to our east anyway, and not that close. So when the sky starts looking like the sun's about to come up, it usually does. <laughs> Alright mate, how deep down are you? Oh, you're very deep. I'll, uh, I'll unhook him, and uh, he's a nice clean fish, so I'll put it back if I can unhook it. There we go. He's in trouble, I think. I might have to put this one in the water for the sea eagle. I'll have to euthanize this one. And bombs away. Hopefully a whistling kite or a sea eagle or something sees that and uh, comes and enjoys it for breakfast. I've just put a fresh worm on and here comes the sun. It's finally making its way over that hill. I'm running tinker rig back in. Me sunglasses on in a minute. Oh, look at this bite straight away. They're still in, they're still filming. <laughs> I literally just put that in and straight away had a bite there, guys. Got it. Might be a bigger one this one if I'm lucky. Feels a bit bigger. Sometimes when they're a long way out, they can be can be hard to call. Certainly feeling like a better fish. Now that it's getting closer, it's not feeling like a bigger fish. <laughs> right, I just literally just put that in. He swallowed that too. They're certainly going after it. There's an. He's not the cleanest looking fish. He hasn't got the red sores on the side of him, but he's, uh, I'm going to euthanize him, I think. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but he's got like a, just a few little faint red marks starting, and blemishes starting to show up. I wonder if he's an infected fish like that one I got earlier. Either way, it's out of the water now, so that's not a bad thing. And it's Beatles o'clock. Here comes the sun. <coughs> da -da -da -da. All right, I'll put me running sinker rig back out. 
And I'm just looking at my pet nostri here. The line's gone really slack. I didn't see it get a bite, but I'm guessing it must have in order for the line to sort of go that slack. There's a seagull out here trying to get that red fin or through in the water. Just had a big bite on the pet nostri. Despite only being in the sky for 10 minutes or so, that sun is so nice and warm on my jumper. It's beautiful. Just had a nice bite on the pet nostri. First bite I've had for quite a while. Just had a nibble on the running sinker again. Did I get him? Yes, I did get him. It's been a bit quiet since the sun came up. Had a couple of nibbles on the pat and oster egg. It's only a very small fish, this one. Not much bigger than my piece of steak last night. I went out to a restaurant for tea last night. I ordered steak and veggies and the steak was so small. Afterwards, the waitress came up to me and she said, how did you find the steak, Robbie? I said, well, easy. I just looked down and there it was, right there on my plate. Right. It's only a small fish, but at least it's a nice clean fish and it's lip hooked. I might even be able to get my first bit of underwater release footage for the day. <laughs> I love doing this. There's a giant fish head just there. It looks like a big redfin head, but I can't. I don't want to get my arm wet to try and see what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a big carp head. Yeah. There was a red hot bite window opened up this morning before the sun came up. A twilight bite window. It was a ripper. An hour and a half since the sun's been up. That's just died in the backside. I'm glad I got up here nice and early. Thank you all very, very much for watching.